Hello, my name is Weber Lin, and I'm a 15-year-old freshman from Arcadia High School. I just want to share with you what I've been doing over my now very extended spring break. If you've been keeping up with the news, you know that many hospitals are ra having to ration their yellow surgical and N95 masks as a result of the COVID pandemic. This is definitely true because my father, who is a doctor, is being given only one mask per day at while at work. About a week ago, I read an article about amazing grassroots efforts from people in New York and Montana that are trying to help with the shortage of PPE or personal protective equipment. One of them, the Montana mask effort, um, designed the files to make this 3D printed mask, which takes one surgical mask and you can cut it up and it acts as the filter, extending the life of this by four to six times. Check out www.makethemask.com. As a Boy Scout who is conservation-minded, I love the fact that these masks are reusable and can be easily sterilized. As a crafter with a 3D printer, I was intrigued by the idea of 3D printing out masks, and I decided I wanted to pitch in. With the help of my neighbor, Mr. Jack, we modified the original files found on the website mentioned earlier to create masks uh, in multiple sizes and to enlarge the holes on the side to insert colorful elastic cords that are sure to brighten up anyone's day. Since then, I've been printing out masks 24-7, but unfortunately, with my one printer, I can only print out about five masks per day. That's why I've ordered two more printers and I'm waiting for more materials like 3D printing filament to arrive in the mail. My goal is to make masks for um, hospitals, healthcare clinics, nursing homes, and first responders, but I am also going to want to make masks for all employees at essential non-medical businesses because they're exposed all day to people who could have COVID. I'd like to do my part in flattening the curve and protect frontline workers like my parents. Are you stuck at home with nothing to do? Well, here's what you can do to help. If you have a 3D printer, I strongly encourage that you go online and download these files. Besides makethemask.com, there are many other websites that have these files, so just look around, you'll find them. Or you can contact me for details on my version. Once you finish making the masks, you can finish assembling them yourselves and donate them to local hospitals that would be willing to accept them. Or we can coordinate a drop off and I can have my team finish assembling them. A second way you can help out is if you can kindly donate a 3D printer um, filament um, elastic. I have head wraps here because the whole nation has been mobilized in making um, like cloth masks. So elastic's hard to find, so I've just been sticking with this. So if you can donate this, that'd be good too. Or um, weather seal, I'd be thrilled to accept those. Finally, if you'd like to make a monetary donation, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Contact me at 3dmaskmaker at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you in advance for your support. Even if you can't support me personally, you can do your part in flattening the curve just by staying at home. I'm going to give you a demo on the mask making process. So welcome to my factory. Um, it all starts when I download the STL files, which are the mask files off, off of makethemask.com. And then we did some editing and then I put it into the printer. As you can see, it's printing now. These masks will print for, for about four to five hours. It depends on the size um, because we've made small, medium and large masks. So once this is, these masks are done, I pull them off, and then I have to also have to print the filter holder, um, which will snap into the masks like this. Like this. So then, once that is done, we can begin assembly. So assembly starts with this weather stripping, which can be found at your local hardware store, and it just creates a seal around the edges it's got a sticky side and you fill it all in so that it looks like this eventually and then using these enlarged holes you take elastic or head wraps head wraps are what i'm using and you can make the part that goes around that your head and then um this is that's the product that will be delivered to the hospitals and once the recipient gets it, they'll be taking um, either N95 or yellow surgical masks. They'll cut out little squares of it, like this, 
So here's the mask, here's the mask with squares cut out, here's one of the squares, and you hold it up to the filter holder, like this, and then you snap it in. And then you put the mask on like so.